But here it is. My TME RS Evo 6.5. Welcome to today's video where we are finally going to start tearing apart my ultra rare Evo 6.5 TME RS. Um, as you can see, we're in the shop. We got the S15 here, we got the Mini there, we got uh, my JDM Waifu Chan here. What's cracking? Are you excited? You're going to help me today? Yeah. Yeah, she's uh, been a bit lazy, keeping warm right now. But uh, my goal for today is I want to try and get as many removable panels off this thing as possible. So, you know, bumper, um, fenders, side skirts, um, trunk, rear bumper, pretty much try to like get all the removable stuff off. That way we can kind of start to see what's underneath there and what my plan, next plan of attack is going to be. It's very hard until we start pulling stuff off to really know what's going on and what's going to happen. So uh, let's go from there. Let's get you guys, uh, well, I need to get set up, get some tools out and stuff like that. But uh, let's start pulling this thing apart. So Sam sent me across the, 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 the street to get some Ziploc bags because we needed to put the bolts that were gonna come off the all here. So I made one. Hood bolts. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna reuse them uh, because like they are pretty rusty and stuff. Like, yeah, what are they show? They're pretty, uh, how you going? Focus! You gotta touch the screen. There you oh. go. Um, but yeah, they're pretty how you going, but um, you know, obviously just keeping everything and labeling it. So that way, if we do replace them or clean them up, you know, we know what thread pitch they are and where everything goes. So just being smart, you know. First bag. We'll probably add, wait, how did you spell bolts? bolts. Did you write B-U-L-T-S? You're the cutest thing ever. Oh, B O. Yeah. Oh. Not bolts. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Dafsky. And if you don't know who or what Dafsky is, they are an online store that sells air fresheners for your car. They have the best quality and price starting at $2.99. So let's take a look at some of their products. Here are some of the air fresheners that Dafsky sent out to me. And as you can see, they have a massive range. And this is only just a little amount of what they have available. Um, I love that they have a huge variety and not only do they cater towards the JDM space of every of, of the car scene, but they also cater to other things like the UDSM space. So guys, head to dasky.com and grab yourself some air fresheners for your ride. Trust me, they smell great, they last long, and once again, best quality at their cheapest price of $2.99. So what are you waiting for? Once again, head to dafsky.com, grab yourself some air fresheners, support the companies that support me. I would not be able to be doing the things that I'm doing with the shop that I have now if it wasn't for companies like Dafsky. So thank you, Dafsky, and let's get on with the video. We're making moves right now. I've already got like the headlight indicator out. I've done undone all these bolts here for the fender. I had my first snap bolt too, which was the bolt on the top here that goes in. Um, so, First one, sure there'll be many to come. <laughs> May's taking off the side skirts, how you going? Oh, look at that, not bad, not bad. Uh, looks like this, whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. There's a, there's a zip tie here. So she's gonna get that zip tie undone and that one's off, but we did get this side skirt off and uh, it's full of dirt, like absolutely full of dirt. There's even like chunks of bricks and stuff, or I don't know what that is, but there, this guy, like the guy who owned this previously was rallying the crap out of this. Um, I'm actually a bit scared. I know this, this fender still has like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, this was totally used for rallying properly. 
Ooh, yikes, that looks a little bit how you're going there. Not that bad though, all things considered. Luckily. We'll get some of uh, that dirt cleaned off and we'll know how bad it is there. But everything I'm seeing is still really repairable and I've seen way worse. Um, we got the side skirt off here. And uh, you can see here that this whole section here has been like crushed. It's all surfaced, there's no holes through here. It's actually like pretty good. So finding the right panel guy to pull that out and stretch that all back out and get these seams fixed up um, is gonna be a bit of a challenge. Um, but I'm pretty sure we've actually already found the right guy. And I can start to see inside here under these covers and it actually looks really clean, which is good to know. So uh, more and more I'm digging into this, the more and more I'm kind of like, yeah, there's some more damage there but uh, it's not bad, like it's not unrepairable. It's pretty much all gonna cost roughly the same for what I'm planning to get this car uh, fixed. You found a spider? Yeah, right there. Nice, did you give him a name? Zach. <laughs> all right, let's see if this is gonna snap or not, hey? Yep, completely snapped off. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. This is, this, this looks so bad, but it's really not. Like, trust me, like this is all repairable. I've seen body guys fix way worse than this. So the, the hardest thing is, is just finding the person that actually will say yes to doing this job. It's a lot of time, but hey, I don't mind paying the extra for it because I want this thing done properly. Okay. All right. May, can you come and hold this fender while I undo the inside indicator? I'm lit. there is so much dirt in this car. Wow. The guy, like, I mean, I saw videos of the previous owner rallying this, so I'm not surprised. Look at all of this dirt, guys. This is funny, like I literally, like I spent all that time cleaning my shop floors and painting them. Bring the Evo here, start pulling it apart and just dirty the whole floor again. <laughs> there is so much dirt. Oh hey, he's got like um, Ikea formula brace here, which then he cut and welded here to clearance it. <laughs> Not bad. There's a fair bit of like reinforcement stuff done like this, stitch welding all through here too. Interesting. It snaps straight off. <laughs> Another one? Uh, no, that should, should Ah, I got up, it. Come out, there's just a light bulb Whoa. thing here. Oh yeah, this thing's full of dirt too. All right, should be able to pull off. Da -da. All right, so we've pulled off a fair bit more of the front end. Um, both fenders are off, I got the cowling off here, and still everything I see here, it's all like surface, you know, like everything doesn't look too bad, there's a bit of surface in here and stuff in those usual spots, but like nothing's really that bad. Same on this side, it looks like this is gonna like, it's gonna be like totally savable like I thought. I mean, you can see here that all these stress cracks here, like they tried welding these up at some point, um, which is a very normal Evo thing, especially when you're rallying them. But all of that's replaceable and very easy to fix. You can see here, they glugged on a whole big bunch of weld here too. This is all surface though too, bit of water and I could scrub that and that'll all major, like majority of it come off. So it may look bad, but the more and more I look at this car, it actually looks a lot more repairable than I initially thought. Started getting worried at one point, but this is really not that bad, especially considering everything's gonna be stripped the body guy is just gonna go in there, do his thing, get everything perfect. Should be good. Probably the most expensive repair of this entire car is gonna be that rear um, fender, the rear quarter, and fixing the seals on the bottom, I think. By the way, massive shout out to the waifu for coming out and helping. You having fun? Yeah. Learning a lot? Yeah. It's actually like, May, you never used to be into cars, right? At all. Like you don't even have your driver's license yet. Which is why we haven't bought her an RX-8 yet, but it's on the to-do list when she gets her license. She was gonna get it this year, but COVID kinda hit and that messed up everything. But um, yeah, she's having fun, learning, teaching her like how, the reason why I'm missing a 10 mil from that is because that's just a thing, like 10 mils always go missing and other things like that. This is the first 10 mil I've actually lost to be fair. Um, but yeah, we're just 
going through, pulling everything out. Um, there is some crash damage in this corner here, which I'm not too worried about. It's all pretty well intact. It's just gonna need to be like massaged out, repainted and all that stuff. Once again, just surface everywhere, really. And you can see like they, they just like tack welded and stitch welded a bunch of stuff that normally stress fractures. Like this is a big thing that you need to put on Evo <laughs> chassis, especially when you're rallying them and putting them under abuse. Um, and this like just tries to strengthen all of that. It's actually a JZX100 thing too. Do you guys remember when I was in um, at Sidex Japan and we were looking at my JZX and I was like, oh, why were there bars welded through here? That's the same reason that this all gets stress fractures and cracks sometimes. Same kind of thing with the Achilles here with the Evo too. Yeah, you got a little brush in it. Oh, look at that, how excited you are about this. She's gonna clean up all of this for me. This is what I'm telling you guys. You gotta find a girl that does this for you. Goals right here. It's still gold. Oh wait, <laughs> don't throw it. <laughs> hey babe, do you have any more blinker fluid? This one's a bit low, we need to top this up. <laughs> I think your skyline wins so. Yeah, I really wanted to turn this into a little fish tank and put a, like a Siamese fighting fish in here. Um, but I remember reading in the comments that you guys were saying that like, it's, you're actually not, not supposed to put them in small tanks, even though that's what you see the pet shops do, so. Yeah, I'll still keep this though. This will be a memory forever. I'll keep topping it up. Put like a little guppy in there, just a tiny yeah. little, little, like, little, like yeah, a tadpole or something. Something that can just live in a tiny space forever. Anyways, we're gonna keep working at this. Um, we're gonna try and clean up as much as we can and get a good look at it. But uh, things are looking really good, honestly. Like, Wait, May, May, May. Let's plug the vacuum cleaner in so we're actually sucking that up. I felt like an archaeologist. You feel like an archaeologist? Yeah. Have you found any fossils? No. I tell you one thing we did find though. Do you remember this? It's your friend. You gonna take him home today? No. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, there's a plug right here, mate. Look at this. Mitsubishi knew this was 
gonna happen? Hang on, there's a plug. You push down on that. There you go. Oh. Mitsubishi, I freaking love you. Look at that. Look at that. Doors are now off on this side as well. Oh man, this thing, like it's insane how quickly it takes to start stripping a car and like getting it looking bare like this. Um, we're gonna keep the seats in there for now. These seats are just up for grabs if anyone wants them. I'll probably... <laughs> You're good, it's, I think it's done now. These things are kind of cool. Um, so like once this pulls off, all right, this kind of thing here is what you'd slide in there so that it could then uh, come through the hole here. It does deform it a little bit when it tightens, but yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a shame that they made, they cut these up and welded them. Show them real quick. Here, see how they cut that out and then welded that piece in they cut up? It looks like an Avengers. An Avengers logo. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, no, I've had fun like working on this. It's so, it feels really good actually to be doing stuff like this with May. Did you have fun, babe? Yeah, I just like disassembling things. Disassembling things? That's kind of cool. But yeah. It's crazy, man. This thing is lit. Dude, mate, we should go to McDonald's drive through with this just around the corner. It'll be great. Imagine if the police caught us. Oh, like, the, they, they wouldn't even know what to do. <laughs> uh, this is called weight reduction. We're now ready for time attack. So we don't need to do any other mods. We're going to just go straight to the time attack and, and get some cool laps because look at all this weight reduction. <laughs> oh, my battery charger needs to go again. If you guys don't know, I use my LiPo battery charger in PB mode um, to charge car batteries. It works really well, actually. It's not too bad. Anyways, we're going to start kind of cleaning up. Uh, we're going to lay this stuff out and get like a funny um, t kind of uh, thumbnail with it. Should we take the seats off? Should we take... No, let's leave them in there for now. Um, but yeah, if anyone does want these Recaros, like they're definitely worn and stuff, but they'll be good for a drift car. You could probably get this fixed up. That's just the fiberglass shell there. Um, but yeah, both of these seats... Plus rails, $200, like anyone who lives in Japan and wants them, DM me and you can have them. I don't have a use for them and they're probably just gonna end up sitting around the shop at some point. So we'll be putting some nice uh, brids in here, brides. Um, I like Recaro, but brides, brides where it's at. Before we finish and pack up, there's one thing I have to remove from this car that is driving me insane. Anyone? that thinks that this actually does anything for your car, please go do an IQ test. So it makes absolutely no sense. It's like people that put magnets on their fuel lines and think that it gives you better fuel economy. Like, come on. Oh, we need a car thing. Hang on, there's one more, there's one more. Like, seriously. Hang on, hang on, no, 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 pull it through this way. Let it go through this way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you need to cut it? Yeah, snip thingy. Alright. May, you've wanted to beat something up? Okay. Burn it. <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Put it on the floor. Alright, now together. These are great. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, those things really don't do anything. They just ground your engine more. And as long as you have the proper grounds, you don't need that. There's no improvements in performance whatsoever of adding that grounding kit. Um, they're just dumb. They look stupid in the engine bay and they're a myth. They, they literally are. Don't use those ever. Oh man, we made such a mess moving these parts back around. It's all good. We'll vacuum it all up before we leave. Should be fine. There's obviously a lot of dirt around these two. But uh, we're gonna tuck this all in this corner for now and try and get it like all like out of the way as possible. Um, I'm looking for shelving and racking right now so that we'll obviously have racks and stuff to hang this all up on and then it'll be way better. But it should be good. But yeah, all in all, it's mind blowing honestly how fast we got this thing kind of stripped out. There's obviously a lot more we need to do too. I'm gonna put this plastic core flute under the engine. Because uh, she is definitely leaking a bit. We cleaned up a bit of oil that it dropped on the floor. Um, but yeah, overall, everything I see here is repairable. And I know I keep saying that. And uh, I, do, I do think we found the right body guy. I need to get him over here and he's going to take a look at it. But I think, uh, yeah, I think things are going to go really, really well for this. I obviously need to keep saving because the body bill is going to be probably a few, you know, tens and twenties and thirty thousand dollars probably but uh, I think it's going to be worth it because this is going to be such a cool car on the channel and it's just such a 
iconic car and a dream car of mine too. So I think being able to save an abandoned car is just, it's been on my bucket list for so long and being able to do this once and maybe a second time in the future too. We may have something else lined up for you guys. <laughs> the way May just throws those fenders on the ground. All right, we're gonna get cleaning up and we're gonna head home. Some more uh, cleaning ASMR. Oh my gosh, there's so much dirt inside these side skirts. It's kind of crazy. I'm trying to just clean it all out so it doesn't spread any more dirt on the floor, but check this out. Fenders hanging up on the wall, bumpers hanging up on the wall. I'm really starting to like this shop. That literally means I can hang bumpers all the way along the top there, all along there and there as well. I'm loving it. So I'm trying to get some wheel ideas right now. What do you guys reckon? RGDs? 18s look too big for this, the gold RGDs? It's really hard to picture this without any panels on the freaking car. Kind of dig the RGDs on this though. Maybe gold's not the color, we'll see. Depends what color we paint the car, right? Enjoying your chocolate donut? You know what would be better? You know what would be amazing that we could do at the same time that you're eating that donut? Real donuts, all wheel drive donuts. So the next time, the guys see you eating a donut in this car. We're gonna be doing all wheel drive donuts. Maybe a year from now, but it's gonna happen. I'm making that promise right now, Yubi Yuxo. Well, that's it for now. Definitely a successful night working on the Evo. It's got me even more hyped for this thing. It looks so cool seeing the parts hanging on the wall like that. Feels like we finally got a shop. I'm excited, time to go. Up on the S15, which is running better than ever. We got that thing fixed yesterday with Okachan. I uh, just took the day off and really enjoyed uh, hanging out. And we did some tuning on the S14 and diagnosed some issues. And just good, like learning from him and hanging out. I don't know what to say. Like I always joke around and say he's like my Japanese dad, but he really is. Anyways, we're gonna head home. Probably get some dinner on the way, and we'll pick things up and close it out there. Time warping ahead to dinner. We are eating some Nagasaki champon. 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 You know what champon means? Um, mix. Something that's just all thrown together, like yeah, leftovers yeah. meal. Like a leftovers um, meatloaf. Yeah. But Meat. ramen. Yeah, that's why there's like... Uh, there's like veggies in there, there's like pork like in there, pork there's seafood, yeah. there's chicken, Wenchy. there's tofu. There's everything. It's just everything thrown in there. And what cool. I do is I put a lot of vinegar on it. Oh really? Mm. There you go. You like it sour, I guess. That makes sense, though. It makes it taste good, I reckon. We also got some uh, gyoza, so we're gonna enjoy, dig down. I got mine extra spicy, that's why mine's kind of red and orange. Anyways, see you guys when we're done. Back home, and man, did we make progress today on the Evo. And quite frankly, it feels so good. You know, if we look back when we got the car, announced it to you guys on the channel, and fast forward to now, we have a shop all of a sudden, we've just pulled off pretty much every panel on the car that we can, and the thing looks bare. The next step is obviously gonna be like getting an engine crane and pulling the engine and stuff out, but I don't wanna do that until I've got the shelving and the racking, plus obviously having a lift would make it so much easier, but we don't necessarily need a lift to pull the engine out of that. Uh, we can make do with jack stands and whatnot. Um, where we're at with the lift as well is the, the company I'm getting it from, they're waiting for stock to come into the country, um, especially because I've ordered the 200 volt one, um, so we're waiting for that. Um, and then I still need to find a tire machine, which is the right one with like the beat assist stuff that I want for the right price. COVID pricing has affected everything on auction sites, just everywhere in Japan, as well as everywhere else in the world, I assume. So it kind of sucks, but you know, we'll make do with what we can for now, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to obviously move a lot more stuff to the shop now and uh, just really trying to get that place set up. Um, I also got a, a proper paint sprayer too, um, so I'm pretty keen to try that out, might do that tomorrow, but uh, we need to get the rest of those walls painted as well. Anyways guys, let's end it here. Thanks so much for watching. Smash that like button, write us a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, Jamata. May, what have you done? You got a bit carried away. I give you a rattle gun and you pull the whole car apart? What is wrong with you? It's not, it's not too wrong. I was just gonna do your Sylvia too, just now. <laughs>